Queen Elizabeth II's coffin has arrived at Buckingham Palace, where thousands of mourners lined up to watch, and the entire royal family, including Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, were at the palace when the hearse arrived via police escort. King Charles III, Camilla, the Queen Consort, Prince William and Kate Middleton were also seen arriving at the palace before the coffin's arrival Tuesday night in London where, according to the Daily Mail, mourners also belted out hip hip hooray after the coffin made its way inside the palace's grounds. Earlier in the day, Her Majesty's coffin boarded the Royal Air Force Globemaster C-17 plane and traveled from Edinburgh to Britain. The Queen had been lying in rest at St. Giles Cathedral. Upon landing, the reception party, which included Prime Minister Liz Truss, received the coffin at the Royal Air Force Station RAF Northolt in the London Borough of Hillingdon. According to the outlet, the Royal Standard of Scotland was draped over the coffin while in Edinburgh but switched to the Royal Standard upon arriving in the UK. According to the Queen's official funeral plans announced over the weekend, the coffin on Wednesday afternoon will be borne in procession on a gun carriage of the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery from Buckingham Palace to the Palace of Westminster, where the Queen will lie in state in Westminster Hall until the morning of the state funeral. The procession will travel via Queen's Gardens, the Mall, Horse Guards, and Horse Guards Arch, Whitehall, Parliament Street, Parliament Square, and New Palace Yard. After the coffin arrives at Westminster Hall, the Archbishop of Canterbury will conduct a short service assisted by the very Reverend Dr. David Hoyle, Dean of Westminster, and attended by the King and members of the royal family, after which the lying in state will begin. The state funeral is slated for September 19. In an emotional moment over the weekend, Elizabeth's daughter, Princess Anne, was seen curtsying as her mother's coffin passed her and entered the Palace of Holyrood House on Sunday. The touching sign of respect for the late monarch moved many following the death of the Queen at age 96 last Thursday. Sunday's processional marked the start of the Queen's body traveling throughout the United Kingdom ahead of being laid to rest on Sept. 19. E.T. previously confirmed that Princess Anne, King Charles III, and his wife, Camilla, the Queen Consort, were the only members of the royal family who were able to see Queen Elizabeth before her death. Colin Royals follow Queen Elizabeth's coffin procession in Edinburgh This video was unavailable because we were unable to load a message from our sponsors. If you are using ad-blocking software, please disable it and reload the page.